Hello and welcome to another episode of Linear Equations. Today we're solving linear equations involving parentheses. Now I have four examples ranging from easy to difficult. So you have an idea what types of problems you will see. So let's begin. Whenever you have to solve a linear equations involving parentheses, your first step is to eliminate the parentheses by using the distribution rule. And when I talk about the distribution rule, the distribution rule basically means multiplication. The coefficient that's outside of your parentheses is going to multiply every term that is inside. So the 3 here is going to multiply your 4x and the 3 because it's positive and put a plus sign, you must have an operator between, it's going to multiply your 8. And it's going to equal to 36. Now 3 times 4x is 12x. Plus 3 times 8 is 24. And that equals to 36. Now once I distributed the 3 within the parentheses, I noticed that my problem right here became a two-step linear equation. And we are familiar with solving a two-step linear equation. Our aim is to solve for the x, and remember I put a box around it, and that box clues me in on which integer to eliminate. So connected to the x is 12 and 24. So I know I'm not going to touch the 12. I'm first going to eliminate the 24. It's positive or it's being added. So I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to subtract 24 on both sides. This is eliminated. I'm going to bring down my 12x. Remember when the signs are different, you perform a subtraction and keep the sign of the larger number. So this is going to be a positive 12. And I'm still solving for x. I need to isolate it. The 12 and the x are connected by multiplication. So I'm going to do the opposite, which is I'm going to divide both sides by 12 because I need to remove the 12. That is cancel, leaving me with x, and 12 divided by 12 is 1. So my answer is x equals 1. This is a fairly easy linear equation with parentheses. Just to recap, I distributed the 3 within the parentheses and got 12x plus 24 equals to 36. This is a two-step linear equation and Here's a clue. How do I know I have two steps? You usually have three terms. If you count the terms, there are three. One, two, three. Whenever I have three terms, I know I have a two-step linear equation. And all I have to do is isolate my x, put that box around it. That clues me in that the 24 goes first. I do the opposite. And then my last step is to get rid of the 12, which I use a division, and I get my answer. As always, you should check your answer if you have time. So I have 3 times 4x plus 8 equals to 36. When I solved my problem, my x turned out to be a 1. So wherever I see x, I replace it by 1. I'm now going to use order of operations. So inside the parentheses, I have multiplication and addition. So I'm going to multiply first. 4 times 1 is 4. I'm going to add 8. I'm hoping the left-hand side will give me 36. It's still in the parentheses, 4 plus 8 is 12. And when I multiply 3 times 12, I get the left being 36, which is equivalent to the right being 36. So I know that my answer, x equals 1, is correct. Let's take a look at another problem. 
So I have 2 and in parentheses 4x plus 3 equals negative 8x minus 7. My first step is to distribute that 2 within the parentheses. So I have 2 multiplying the 4x and I put a plus sign because the 2 is positive and it's multiplying the 3. And that equals to negative 8x minus 7. 2 times 4x is 8x plus 2 times 3 is 6 equals negative 8x minus 7. Now I notice here I have 1, 2, 3, 4 terms and I also have a variable on the left and a variable on the right. Notice my problem became one of those linear equations when I have variables on both sides. So I have variables on both sides and remember when we have variables on both sides we eliminate the variable on the right so I'm going to get rid of the negative 8x I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to add 8x to both sides. This is eliminated. The signs are the same, so I'm going to add. This will be 16x plus 6 equals, and I'm going to bring down the negative 7. Remember, I'm solving for the x because right now, notice I have 1 two, three terms. So now this has become a two-step linear equation. So I put my box around the x, which means I'm going to get rid of the six first. I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to subtract six from both sides. That's eliminated. I bring down my 16x equals. Now here the signs are the same. So I'm going to add which will give me 13 and keep the sign of the larger number. The 16 and the x are connected by multiplication so to isolate my x I'm going to do the opposite of multiplication. I'm going to divide both sides by 16 and my answer is x equals a negative divided by a positive is a negative so I'm going to put a negative in the middle now, 16 cannot divide 13 evenly, so that's my clue that my answer is a fraction. So I have 13 over 16. Can I reduce this to its lowest terms? This is as small as it can get. The only number that will divide 13 and 16 evenly is 1. And if you divide by 1, you're still going to get 13 over 16. Remember, your answer can be whole numbers, they can be fractions, or they can be decimals. Okay, now this is as bad as it can get on your test. So we're going to first eliminate the parentheses. Notice I have a parentheses on the left and a parentheses on the right. So the 2 here is going to multiply everyone inside the parentheses. And then over here on the right, notice there's a not, you don't see a number here. Well, there is. It's an invisible one. And that's going to multiply everyone inside the second parentheses. So the 2 is going to multiply the 4y. The 2 is going to multiply the 2. So this 2 here is only going to multiply what's inside. I'm going to bring down my plus 5 equals negative 7. Now I'm going to take the sign that's in front. So the negative 1 is going to multiply the 2y and the negative 1 is going to multiply the 4. Now let's do our multiplication. 2 times 4y is 8y plus 2 times 2 is 4 plus 5 equals negative 7 Okay, I'm going to take the sign with me. Negative 1 times 2y is negative 2y. And the negative 1 times the 4 is negative 4. 
So I've eliminated the parentheses using the distribution rule. I'm going to combine my like terms, if any. And how do I know I have like terms? You usually have three terms on either side. So notice I have one, two, three terms. So I'm going to have to combine like terms. So my like terms here are the four and the five because they're integers. And over here, my like terms are the negative seven and the negative four. So I'm going to combine. And remember, combine means to add. So this is 8y. Now, because they're both positives, I'm going to add and keep the sign over here. Notice that this is a negative 7 and this is a negative 4. And we know when the signs are the same, you add. So if you add 7 and 4, you get 11 and keep the sign of the larger. So it's a negative. And I'm just going to write my minus 2y. Now once I get here, I have 1, 2, 3, 4 terms, a variable on the left and a variable on the right. So notice now I have variables on both sides. And when you have variables on both sides, remember I said get rid of the variable on the right. So we're going to get rid of the 2y and because it's minus I'm going to add 2y to both sides. That's eliminated. These are both the same so I'm going to add 8 and 2 will give me 10y plus 9 equals negative 11. Now notice here I have 1, 2, 3 terms. So now I have a two-step linear equation. So I'm going to put my box around the y. And that tells me, OK, get rid of the 9. So I would subtract 9 on both sides. OK, that's eliminated. I'm going to bring down my 10y equals. Remember when the signs are the same, you add. So if I add 11 and 9, I get 20. And keep the sign of the larger. The 10 and the y are connected by multiplication. So I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to divide both sides by 10. The 10s cancel. So I have y equals a negative divided by a positive is a negative and 20 divided by 10 is 2. So my answer after all that hard work is y equals negative 2. This problem was a very long problem and that's why we call it multi-step. So your first step was to distribute the 2 within the parentheses and also the negative 1. Once I've done that, my next step was to look to see if I can combine any like terms. So I'm combining the 4 and the 5, which gave me 9, and the negative 7 and the negative 4, which gave me negative 11. My problem then turned into variables on both sides. I got rid of the variable on the right. And by doing that, I created a two-set linear equation, which I'm familiar with solving. Now, this is what's going to look like on your task test. So notice this problem. What is the solution to the equation? 2, and then in parentheses, x minus 10 plus 4 equals negative 6x plus 2. And notice your answers. Um, A is negative 9 over 2, B is 1, C is 9 over 4, and D is 5 over 2. Now, I know some of you would say, oh, I'll just use plug and chug. Notice that they gave you fractions. So if you're going to plug and chug, you better plug and chug really quickly. I would suggest solving it. So I'm going to write my problem here. I have 2x minus 10. Then I'm going to add to 4. And then I have negative 6x plus 2. 
So I'm going to distribute the 2. So 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 10 is negative 20 plus 4 equals negative 6x plus 2. Now I notice that over here on the left hand side I have three terms. 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to look to see who are alike and I'm going to combine them. So notice the signs are different. When your signs are different you subtract. So that would give me 16 and keep the sign of the larger number. So it's negative 16. So this is 2x minus 16 equals to minus 6x plus 2. Now I notice I have a variable on the left and a variable on the right. So this is where we have variables on both sides. And remember when you have variables on both sides, we always get rid of the variable on the right. So I'm going to get rid of the minus 6x. I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to add 6x to both sides. This is eliminated. These are both the same. So I'm going to add this is 8x minus 16 equals to 2. Notice I have one, two, three terms. So this is a two-step equation. And when you have a two-step, you're solving for x because now you just only have one variable. So when I put that box there, it means get rid of the 16. So I'm going to add 16 to both sides. So I get 8x equals, and they're both positive, so if I add 2 and 16, I get 18. So the 8 and the x are connected by multiplication, so I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to divide both sides by 8. That cancels. I get x equals to 18 over 8. Now I look here and I don't see that answer. Can 8 divide 18 evenly? The answer is no. Can I reduce? The answer is yes. I can divide both of these by 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So I'm looking for 9 over 4. And there it is. So that's my answer. 9 over 4. So again, you can get fractions. And I understand why they gave fractions because they know about our little plug and chug trick. So sometimes they give fractions. If you want to plug and chug, go ahead. Um, just be quick about it. But solving was pretty simple. We distributed the 2 within the parentheses and got 2x minus 20 plus 4. I noticed there were three terms, so I looked to see who were alike, and I combined them into one. That then took me to variables on both sides. I got rid of the variable on the right, as we always do. Once you've done that, you're back to a two-step linear equation, and it's home sailing after that. I hope these videos have been helpful, and especially these examples. Good luck on your examination.